Scholarships, fellowships, and grants are considered income in a few instances. There are straightforward rules on whether or not your scholarships fit into the taxable category. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is how to determine if your scholarship income is taxable. It doesn't matter where the award comes from private groups, the college you attend, or state or federal government. Scholarships and grants are an excellent way to reduce your out-of-pocket expenses for college. We encourage all students to identify and apply for merit aid, scholarships from the college they will attend, scholarships from private or public organizations, and scholarships tied to work you complete. It is important to remember that even if a small portion of your scholarship money is taxable, the taxes paid will not be larger than the money you receive in a scholarship or grant. So don't let the question of taxability restrict your willingness to pursue any and all scholarships and grants for which you qualify. Go after all of the financing you can to support your education, even if some of it will be paid in taxes. One quick note, once you finish this video, go to our website linked in the description below the like button. Our website includes several links to IRS information on this topic. There is also a link to an IRS interactive tax assistant to help you understand how to report any taxable income from scholarships and grants. Use these resources. If you have any questions, use the assistance of a tax preparation organization as well. Here is the breakdown of scholarships and grant funds that are not taxable. Funds used to pay for the tuition and fees associated with attending an accredited college. Scholarship money used to pay for books or required supplies and equipment are also tax-free. For your tuition and other required expenses, to qualify as tax-free, you must be attending an educational institution that has a regularly enrolled student body, formal curriculum, and accreditation. Further, you must be working toward a degree. If you are attending college through the National Health Service Core Scholarship Program, the Armed Forces Health Professional Scholarship and Financial Assistance Program, or a Comprehensive Student Work Learning Service Program, as defined by Section 448 of the Higher Education Act of 1965, the taxability of your scholarship resources is different. Make sure to ask the scholarship organization about your tax liabilities. And any funds presented by the Veterans Administration, such as the GI Bill, are tax-free and can be used for any expenses you incur as you are pursuing your education. So what is not tax-free? Funds used for room, board, transportation, groceries, medical expenses, research, clerical help, optional supplies and equipment, and incidental activities. Award funds used to pay these are taxable. If you receive an award that helps pay your room and board and your tuition, you must subtract the amount used to pay any taxable commodity like room and board, and you must report that amount as taxable income. If you have a $15,000 scholarship and 10,000 of that goes to pay tuition, books, fees, and allowable expenses, you need to report the remaining 5,000 as taxable even if used to pay for your residence hall room or food plan. For those of you who are receiving a scholarship that includes a stipend for teaching, research, or any form of work, the scholarship portion of that agreement that pays for your tuition and fees is tax-free. The compensation you are paid for your work is taxable as income. You will receive a W-2 for that stipend. Please note, if the award you are presented has a specific use designation, say it can only be used for tuition or room and board, if that purpose is for an expense that falls into the taxable category, like room and board, you must pay taxes on that amount. If it is to be used for a taxable purpose and you use it on, for example, tuition or books, it's still taxable. The use designation is the key to determining taxability. So the record keeping portion of all of this is on you. You will get an assist from your school but you are responsible for tracking all of your scholarship and grant winnings. The school will track those that are sent directly to your school's bursar office. As you collect your tax records each year, you need to get your Form 1098-T completed by your college. 
this form will list all the details for your scholarships, fellowships, and grants that they have received for your account. On this form, there are two essential boxes to review. Box 1 will list the total qualified costs deducted from your account. Box 5 will list the total amount of the awards you receive via your account in the school. If Box 1 is larger than Box 5, you don't own any taxes for the amount collected by your college. If Box 5 is larger than Box 1, those funds are most likely taxable. Sometimes if the amount of aid you receive exceeds the bill you owe for the current semester, your school will send you the difference. You will be responsible for making sure the money placed in your checking account or provided in a check is not spent for items that are taxable. Those funds should be reserved in your account to pay directly for future tuition, fees, books, or allowable expenses. And this is where your record keeping comes into importance. You must track and hold receipts for any expenses you paid that are qualifying. Your Form 1098-T may not track these expenses, especially if you don't charge your books, supplies, or equipment, or other qualifying expenses through your university account. If you can prove the expenses, you can apply that amount to the non-taxable portion of your scholarship income. Now this also means that you are responsible for tracking the use of any scholarship or grant income that does not run through the college. Keep notes and receipts on how funds presented directly to you are used. If they are utilized for tuition, fees, books, or required supplies, they are not taxable. If you use them for any other purpose, they are. For those of you wondering, any funds you receive through a 529 account are not a scholarship. They are handled separately from this process. Student loans are not taxable and some interest payments may be tax deductible. It should be noted that athletic scholarships that cover or provide more than your tuition, fees, and books provide taxable income. So how can you best manage your tax liabilities? First, read your financial aid award letters carefully to determine the tax treatment of all funds that you are provided. Track all of your scholarship applications and receipts. Make sure you know if there are stipulations placed on funds. Be careful in your record keeping for all qualifying expenses. And be willing to ask questions of the college as to whether or not they qualify as an educational organization, whether or not the degree or certificate you are pursuing qualifies, how they designate the funds you receive, and where you can find your 1098-T form at tax time. And if you have any questions as you prepare your taxes, get advice from a certified tax preparation organization. I will state this again. Potentially paying taxes on some of your scholarship funds does not mean you should avoid applying for those funds. The amount of aid you keep will always exceed the amount you pay in taxes. Scholarships, grants, and fellowships are good things, no matter the level of taxes you have to pay on some of those funds. If you found any of this information useful, please hit the like button or perhaps consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.